Christ of the Holy Books of the Hindus of Bhagavad Gita. This is the 21st quote. Krishna tells the soul is neither born and nor does it die. Lord Krishna explodes each and every word into a massive blast. And in that blast, you can see only varieties and varieties of answers, which is penetrating deep and powerful, which rejuvenates everybody in the whole world, every thing in the whole world. The soul is neither born, and people keep on thinking they are born. You can see nothing is born and nothing dies. When you reach that stage of your consciousness, nobody can touch you. They say the soul, the soul means S O U L, the soul, and the soul H S O L E. You are the soul breadwinner means. You are alone, and in the aloneness, you understand that you are not alone, but you are the sole breadwinner. You understand for the first time this body has got a power. Hence, they say the soul is neither born. The sole breadwinner is not born, but he is conscious of trying to extract and extricate every part of his energy. Every part of this beautiful body where he can save and then spend. The moment he understands that every one drop is precious. Like Mahatma Gandhi said to Jawaharlal Nehru, that one pencil, if you cannot give value to one pencil, bondage, how will you give value to? Millions of people, in one person, the one person as a leader, you should give value to that one person. The sole breadwinner is that person, the solo dance. Yes. And when you do the solo dance, you become energized, you become spiritual. And in the spirituality, you forget yourself. You melt with the dance and the moment what you are practiced. And it happens of its own. When it happens of its own, that is the beauty. Yes. That magnifying beauty people can understand. They know you get drunk in the ocean of your art. Those, that is the time, first time you understand you are not born. The moment you feel you are born, then you try to Hold on to what all has been forced into you, the borrowed knowledge. A sole person, a, a single person, he, a, a person who calls it as a sole breadwinner, he can understand the truth because he becomes conscious he doesn't need a guru, he doesn't need a teacher. But you need a guru and a teacher when you think that you don't know how to clean up, how to maintain your house, cleanliness next to Godliness. The day you found out, find out that you do not know how to pedicure and manicure, and the day you forgot that you look at the sunlight and sweat it out and cleanse to make sure that every part of the body opens up to breathe, not only the nose, but every part of the body breathes. Yes. And in that breathing, the brain gets the oxygen and the tooth opens up. The stomach is not constipated because you know the cleansing method. And that's where they call it cleanliness next to me. Only the sole person, the single person understands the consciousness. Once he is in a group, he is forced to tell, I am a Hindu, I am a Muslim, I am a Christian, I am a Sikh, I am a Jaina. Right is and you believe and you want to act like that. Never mind, act. It is good to stabilize a family, sit together, sit together, praise together. It works out. But don't you think that you have to leave something back to the society, something back to the family? So you emerge out of that from understanding that the soul 
Neither is born. When you know it is not born, it doesn't have a death, then you become a sole breadwinner, a sole person, a single person, an individual, more with the crowd. But be an individual in the crowd. Otherwise, the crowd will trample you to death. If you understand that one thing, you can understand there is no death at all because the penetrating idea of you understanding as a single person without a guru, without holding on to a stuff, you need a guru and a teacher and all other things because you do not know how to take a bath, how to cleanse each and every part of it. That is what you. Krishna was explaining to Arjuna Bhagavad Gita the soul is neither born then what are you fighting for? but you are not fighting you have to demonstrate the power if you don't demonstrate that every part of your body is getting lost and that lost is your disease your pain, your suffering and in that suffering you become selfish, you become greedy and then anything and everything what you see is bad, negative and you want, want to kill them or you want to commit suicide. All negative things happen because of all these things you don't have to go to psychologist or psychiatrist. You have to only see they have got a constipation problem. Not the constipation of the stomach alone, constipation of the eyes. Yes, because you didn't do your eye exercise and you are unable to see things through, you couldn't hear properly because you're not cleansed, you're not done your exercises. The exercise is a simple sanskrit, practice of sanskrit. That's what Lord Krishna keeps telling us. You only practice the sanskrit, where you're born, where you're, you can see, you keep walking and keep, things keep growing and keeps going off. It gives the fruits and keeps going up. The fruits you fall down again, you emerge into another one plant. Where is life? Where is the Death, where, who is born, who is dying? These are created the dictionary languages to create fear in you so that you follow a particular path to make somebody else rich and you want to become a slave. Come out of that. Once you don't cleanse yourself, you find out there is a devil. 100% there is a devil. If there is a devil, there is a God, yes. And you want to go to the temple to talk to the priest. To find out the God can talk to the devil to stop your pain. No God can do that. Because God has given you a beautiful house, cleansed house, beautiful body which is walking, cleansed quality. And to maintain that also, that also is free. He's sending the sun, right? Yes. And the rainwater, the beautiful ozone water, full medicinal. You forget to utilize it. Wind, wow, earth, wow. And you forgot all those things. And you close your house, sit inside the jail, and then you start screaming like a parrot, freedom, freedom, freedom. I caught the parrot from the cage. And I asked him, go, have your freedom. I'm so happy the parrot. One person, I gave them freedom because I heard the song, freedom, freedom, freedom. And I went to sleep after some time. I heard again the sound was coming freedom, freedom. I ran towards the direction of the sound which is coming, and I could see it is coming from the same golden cage, beautiful houses, villas, apartments, all these things, bungalows. I looked inside, I saw the same parrot sitting inside and still screaming freedom, freedom, freedom. For you, for that, for people. Is the temple church is for those people are the Swamiji's religious leaders and gurus. Otherwise, God is with you and you are God.